Hello and welcome back to Calliferous Farming. This is your host here. I'm Calliferous and we are going to do something different. This is the Pioneer Challenge. So let me just drive this little fence back up to the um, to the farm and I'll explain what we're doing. So is everyone doing well today? Everyone keeping good? So we're almost there, almost there. Alright. So, as you can see, this is my lovely farm. Yeah, there is some more stuff over there. I'll do a flying view in a minute but what we're basically going to do is it's the pioneer challenge now this is supposed to be played on xbox um unfortunately i haven't got the xbox and i can't record these so i'm basically on the pc uh so what we've done is uh we can use cross-platform mods only all right so Course play auto drive have been disabled. Lumberjack, I have disabled. So there's no super strength for anything else. Uh, so that's all. That's all gone. All right. Um, it's on normal economy mode. Yeah. Uh, what else have I got to do? Right. So to start it. Yeah. I have to start in new farmer mode. I basically had to sell everything out so all I've got is the house and the barn to start with yeah um, I've got rid of the silo so I've actually I start with no silo um, I bought the horse pen but I have forgot to buy the horse so I've got to buy one horse to go in the horse pen yeah I've got to buy a grain mill and the other thing I haven't bought is a water point so that's something else I've got to put in yeah so I've got a grain mill at the top that's all ready to go uh, I'll start with six rows of grapes and they're fairly small I start with a grape harvester and I buy a small um, vineyard tractor which is why I've got the um, where is it let's have a look come on there that's why i've got this little baby fence yeah so this is the fence 211v vargo all right so that's going to be my starting tractor i start with 25k or less so i've got 25k and i start with a debt of 250,000 yeah and it comes up in different stages so i have different stages and goals so stage one the goal is to buy two or more animal pens or storage sheds yeah i need to pay off the debt and i need to sell twenty five thousand pounds worth of flour yeah so that's what i've got to do now unfortunately starting off like this with just this means I have problems straight away first one is where do I get the money coming in from now I've got two options now yeah. and it's probably the same way you start every survival on no man's land I have trees I have grass but that's it all right well, the bad thing is I have no mower I only have this one little tractor yeah so what I need to do is I need to get started somehow uh, um, so just so you can see yep yeah, normal difficulty um, season growth is off for this uh, snow is on crop disruptions on periodic plowing is on i've got rid of field stones 
uh, lime is required, weeds are on, yeah, everything else is basically as standard. Worker AI, I've, I've set all that to off. All right, I've got the grain meal, it's got nothing in it. Yeah, and it is literally that. So the first things I need to do on here is I need a horse. So there's supposed to be one horse. So let's just quickly go put in chestnut, silver brown, dune. Yeah. I'm going to go and get myself a little pinto. So I'm just going to have one of them. So there's the 800 pound gone straight away. Yeah, and I need to put in a quick water source that I didn't do. Um, where is it? Containers. So basically, I've only got this little water tank. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come and stick this over by the house. Yeah, just over here. Yeah, so I'm going to stick it in there. Alright, so getting those already, I'm down to 21,000. So some of this is going to be, I'm just going to do stuff and do it and everything like that. So what I need to do is figure out what I'm going to do. So in theory, what I need to do, yeah, is have a look. So just around here. Yeah, there's the grapes. So, as you can see, look, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six rows of grapes. So that's all done. Yeah, I've got this little one. Uh, what do I own? I just own this one bit. So um, there's loads of other land to go, but the value uh, changes depending on which plot you go for. Yeah, we're going to try to avoid owning plot three. Yeah, plot three is the dark and all that lot where I can sell some stuff, but we're going to keep that as it is. All right. Um, if I just, if I jump into construction mode and come all the way up. So this is here, there's, there's my, uh, wheat grains my little barn i don't like that barn i will get rid of it and replace it with something better more usable a bit later on um i've got my grape harvester there so i do start with a grape harvester but i don't start with anything else and i start with this little patch of field that is it as you can see there's a little path there going from the horses stable all the way up to here so what I am going to have to do is get some horse food as well so I need to get some oats or something like that and I think what we will do is uh, when it comes down to planting oats oats are nice and quick sorghum are nice and quick it allows me to generate quite quickly but I need to get that money in Right, so what I'm going to have to do is start getting rid of a couple of trees and everything else. So I have got a chainsaw, and I think what we'll do is I'll start with these trees because that allows me to clear that. Yeah, there's some odd trees just over there and over there as well that I can slowly clear and I can use that to make some fields all right so the first thing is how do I transport all stuff I think what I will be doing is I'm not allowed to loan any vehicles 
so there's no loading and like I use on the automated series where I've got the fermenting silos for hay and wheat and uh, hay and silage and grass and all that sort of stuff I am not allowed any fermenting silos until I have paid off the loan until I'm out of debt once I'm out of debt I can add a load of more stuff in but until then I'm not allowed to use them yeah so it's like balers wraps or a little pit all right so that is what I'm going to be done uh, let's just have a look horse feed just there is oats so 1300 for the oats I've got to find a way to get them up because no street super strength at all. Um, let's just go down into forestry. Now, I can use probably one of these and it means cutting them all up, but I do get more money for longer. Or, because I have got the silver run forest one, yeah, I can use this winch. So I can winch and drag them behind me. Yeah. So that might be a good option. It only needs 60 HP, and I do believe I've got more than that on the on the little fence. So that would work. Um, so what we're going to try and do is just yeah I think the winch and what we'll do is we'll try the winch we'll see if it works if not I'll just get a, a little trailer actually let's start with the little trailer because it's less money yeah let's just change this to am I going to get charged more Right. right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy this, yeah, and it just means I've got to cut A up. So let's go get this, and then I can start cutting. Yeah. So everyone's seen people cut wood and everything else. I don't want to sit there and uh, make you watch me cut loads and loads of wood up um, if I was doing grass and everything else I'd probably put it on a time lapse but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut some up uh, and we'll see how we go from there all right so let me sell some and then I'll come back to you soon Right, so welcome back. I'll just start doing that, um, and I'm finding, yeah, too heavy, too heavy. I've got to cut it all the way down into really little, little bits. Yeah, to do this. So maybe the winch was better. Uh, I have sold one little bit so far. Um, because it's medium economy, we're only getting about one to two, uh, about a thousand pounds for each one. So I thought we've come up with a little idea of um, on here there is a little sawmill. So I can uh, sub. There is some uh, extra goals of building productions and everything else. So maybe 
adding in a production and using the production and using that production alongside alongside that winch to you winch the trees around might be a better option because I think I might lose some of this as it falls out of the back yeah and what I can do is I can produce pallets and sell the pallets so that's my way of thinking and this is a lot easier and it will help just to generate that little bit of starting capital so I can start collecting all the others yeah. so there you can see that whole trailer was only 1,070 right. so let's go back up let's have a look at the sawmill So what I want to do is, at some point, I want to keep this area here for the grapes so I can expand these grapes and everything else. All my fields are going to be down that way because it's it's a bit hilly and, and that sort of stuff, so not good for building. So all my buildings are going to be up around here. So what I'm going to have to do is transport those logs up and around here where I can uh, put a building down which is quite uh, fairly flat. So if I go into productions, where is it? Is it that one? No, that's a bakery. There it is. So it's a little far family um, little sawmill. So what I want to do. is the stove right there and then I can put a little path to it it's all going to be about paths and accesses and everything else so I want to go fairly straight straight down here ok so there's that oh. what was that so let's go cut up those other bits and then I'll get the winch to come and bring the big bit up. Because what I'm going to have to do is get a a stump grinder 
or a muncher to come and munch these stumps away. So, uh, yeah, it's just more spent. So what we're going to be doing is constantly looking at used vehicles. And hopefully we can get some used vehicles to, uh, to get this farm going. this up. No, these are still too heavy. to be too too long an intro uh, I will put all the uh, information in the description okay and uh, yeah we'll go from there what's what the different stages are and everything else all right so uh, yeah, let's just load that up, load that. So there's a nice little first load. And if I can get this started. So, as soon as I get this in the... Uh, whoop, that's what I was afraid of. As soon as I get this in the sawmill. Yeah, I can start it off and that will start producing planks. And then I can sell those planks off. Yeah. There's no other real rules. Um, mods that you can use are basically mods from um, Xbox and all that sort of stuff. That's why I'm not using Lumberjack and Course Play. But, yeah, this is a good start at the moment. You can see there that little bit of wood was 1,800 litres. So if I have a look, and this this might be the saving grace, this might be the one that catapults me further forward. So you can see there, for every three, three litres, I get four litres of um, pellets. So, yeah, I haven't quite got a thousand there, but if I get that started and run, it will start producing and I can go get some more. I've got those ones I've dropped. So, just out of interest, what have we got? Pallets, maximum price is about 2,573 a litre. 4,000 litres, which is good because if I come down here, yeah, so there's no more wood, yeah, at the sawmill and that lot, uh, 1,007, no, sawmill's mine, so that biogas plant, 1,727, and if I look at pallets, yeah, I can get 2371. So, balance are worth it. The only downside to that is it takes a bit of time to produce. Now, what I really want is a cultivator or something like that. Oh, something I need. Uh, where is it? Twenty. Twenty-four. Yeah. 
well, roughly about 30k for as cheap for the cheap combine. So I've got a couple of months to get that in. I must have put it in there. Got another one just here. And all of a sudden, I'm now not allowed to cut this tree. The tree must have landed out of bounds. So I might have to uh, go and get that push back in. If not, I can try and use the uh, Can I push it with this? Yeah. So at least that worked. I'm just guessing with these cuts. So let's just go and get this bit loaded and then taken round. I think this series I'm going to keep to coming out on the Friday. So direct replacement to uh, that was it new American. Yeah. And this last bit's going to be too big, I think. Yeah, too heavy. I guess that lot on there. So let's go see how much or wood we got now. I'm looking at the time of this. So the first day, the let's start, should we say, is going to be a part A and a part B. Alright, but I'm not just going to sit here and make you watch wood. So um, we'll just wait and see what we do and. Uh, yeah, if I can get a cultivator or something like that, I can make fields. Or do I go straight by a really cheap cedar and get some seed in the ground? Because that there has just given me taken my uh, wood up to 4,000 right so I should get four three pallets 
like four pallets, four pallets of wood off of this. Four pallets of wood, so that's about six thousand pounds. Right, so let's just have a look. Where am I? So I want to be in here. Pardon me. They want plows. I want to see this. Yeah, so this one's used everywhere. All right. Um, but for what we've got and the price and the money, it's going to have to be just that. And it only takes 60 to run it. Now, if I buy that, it does mean I can start getting a crop in the ground straight away. Um, it's not going to be big because I want to try and keep some money. So all I'm going to do is get C. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll go get this and I'll finish it here and I'll bring you back on the next episode. Yeah, and you can all see me. Uh, start putting seed in the ground and everything else. Alright, bye for now. Have a great day. If you haven't subscribed, please give me a subscribe and a like. Hit that notification button. It just helps grow this channel. Okay, have a great weekend. Bye for now.